the delegation of the European Parliament's Fishery Committee has visited some coastal localities to inquire about Vietnam's activities to fight illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. On this occasion, let's take a look at Vietnam's efforts in this fighting. On October 25, 2017, the ambassador of the delegation of the European Union to Vietnam sent a letter to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development on the application of a yellow card warning on Vietnamese seafood exports to the EU. The yellow card is the first warning for failing to take an illegal and reported and unregulated fishing, or IUU for short. To cope with this situation, the Vietnamese government, the fisheries sector and 28 coastal provinces have implemented measures to combat IUU fishing. We focus on addressing Europe's recommendations in many issues, such as managing fishing fleets, strengthening inspections and supervisions of fisheries activities at sea and at fishing ports, and tracing origin of fishery materials to EU markets, among others. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has affirmed Vietnam is willing to work with agencies to ensure an objective assessment. By April 2018, six months after the issuance of the yellow card, no Vietnamese fishing vessels have violated Pacific Islands waters. We can manage fishing vessels if all of them have positioning systems. Besides, it can help fishermen foresee storms. After 10 months fighting IUU fishing, the results have been very positive. This was verified by the Fisheries Committee of the European Parliament through a field visit to Bing Ding province and Hangzhou city. Awareness among the people and vessels owner is a decisive factor in monitoring fishing vessels, especially offshore ones. By January 2019, the delegation will return to Vietnam to inspect and assess Vietnam's bid in tackling IUU fishing. Whether Vietnam can remove the yellow card will depend much on the improvement of its legal framework and fishing activities in localities.